It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I've been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis, did it on Friday. So that's where these red and green lines are coming from. And as I've said in the past, I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Pretty rough day. Um, I was talking about this uh, on Friday and kind of last week. The price had just been, you know, put it in lower high, lower high, lower high. Uh, and by no means am I coming across and, or do I want to come across and say, and I knew this gap down was coming, you know, that would be misleading. But I mean, uh, you know, and if you watch the, you know, the videos I've been doing last week, you know, I talked about, you know, just how, you know, the, the price had been stair stepping downwards. And now we're seeing that, you know, the, the overall results of that. So quite a few updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these lines here. Sure, they still pertain, but uh, they're not really relevant right now. So I don't wanna have a million lines scattered everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion. So the newest kind of and key level of support for the chart, and I think it might be where the price bounced off of today. I'm not quite sure. Uh, actually, price went a little bit below it. Dollar twenty-five. If you look back here through the history of the chart, again, a price essentially bounced off of it today, got a little bit below it, but that didn't last very long, and the price snapped back above it. But dollar twenty-five is important because if you look back here through the history of the chart, you can see that the price has been down here on a couple of different occasions, and you know both those times it was down there. Uh, some very nice bounces happened. Now I, I wish the market was e was as easy as and had guarantees where I could say, well, because the last time the price was down at a dollar twenty-five, you know it had a massive bounce, then it is for sure going to have a massive bounce. The bounce has actually already happened a little bit. Uh, so again, I'm not saying anything's guaranteed in regards to another massive bounce, but uh, would it be shocking, or is it shocking really that the bulls, you know, bounce very nicely off a dollar twenty-five and are now up at that point in the chart? Not shocking, but you can't sit here and say that. Well, this thing is for sure going to bounce up to at least two dollars again. Uh, you know, that's just not how charts work. But uh, point here being, from the storybook perspective, dollar twenty-five is that uh, important level of support, and so far so good. The bulls, uh, you know, held strong like you would want to see them with any sort of bounce. Initial hurdle to keep an eye on is gonna be that dollar 45 mark, uh, which was as high as it could get today on a couple different occasions. Bulls try to get up through there and couldn't quite do it. After that point, it's all about the purple line there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword there being moving, I realize that line's you know way up there at, at this point in time. Uh, but uh, you know as time goes by, that line's gonna move its way downwards and get more and more relevant. So dollar 45 initial hurdle, and then after that, Next level to keep an eye on is gonna be that purple line 50 period simple moving average. So we'll see how this one unfolds uh, the, the remainder of this week. Obviously the week is young, still four days left. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.